everybody. Welcome to Calgary, Alberta. This is the home of the Flames. Bob Cole here with my longtime partner, Harry Neal, giving you all the NHL action on the 2K Sports Network. It's early in this NHL season, and we've got two teams warming up out there now. The Calgary Flames made it to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2004, and I have never seen the enthusiasm the Calgary fans exhibited in that series. The Red Wings are a team noted for their offense. This is a club other clubs try and stay away from. Defensively, you've got a battle on your hands. How do they get it done offensively, Bob? Just with their legs. This is a young team, and they have speed to burn. If you count the number of races won by a team, it will show on the scoreboard for sure. And they will face each other all night long, defending the net for their teams. We are going to see two of the best goaltenders in action here tonight. You think goalies are huge old guys that just stand around with pads strapped to their bodies? Think again. Check this guy's athletic ability. Curtis Joseph has been one of the top goalies in the league for years. And some nights, he alone is worth the price of admission. When he gets into his acrobatic best, he's like a gymnast out there. And he can stop the puck from any direction. They're lining up for the faceoff to start the game. Detroit wins the draw. Now Detroit into the zone. Iserman sends it flying around the boards. And now Calgary in their own zone. The puck carried by Holmstrom. It goes to the point. Controlling it in the corner. He centers it. Holmstrom controlling the puck in the corner. He passes it to the left wing. Saved with score! They put it in, and they wasted no time getting on the scoreboard here with an early first period goal. Just too much quickness on that rebound shot to stop it, Bob. I mean, the goalie was trying to get his left pad over to stop it, but he wasn't in time. Too little and too late. And you can credit the first shot that generated the rebound for creating the opportunity for that goal. Yep, you can't underestimate that first shot that gets the goalie off kilter. And once it's left out in front, goodbye, the red light goes on. the face-off coming up. The Flames have the one-goal lead now. First period of hockey. Lots of time to decide this one. Back behind that net. Some rough play. The stick came up on him. And now Detroit in their own zone. He takes it through the zone. Number 12. It's shot. Kickelsoff makes the stop. His team leading by just the one goal. Robin the Wings are able to get it, and the save is made. He was trying to go low, but no luck. Regeer holds him along the board. Lankow from Aginla. It's sent to the right wing, taken across the blue line by the Flames. And now the Wings with it in their own zone. Joseph with a terrific save. His team looking to get this one tied. Solid shot, solid save here on this one, Bob. Yeah, Harry, but when the goalie's well positioned, it's going to take something more than just a solid shot to get past him. Exactly. He's set, he's ready. And after that save with the right pad, he was positioned to do it all over again. Textbook goalkeeping. Face off coming up. Ready to get the action started. Off is won by Calgary. He rips it. Joseph positioned himself great on the pad save. Crouching down and covering all in it. At center. Here come the Red Wings with a chance. It is shot. Bob, he did a nice job of deflecting that shot using his right pad. It was a great save. And now the Red Wings grab it. And he shoots. He got the left pad up quickly enough to deflect that shot. Jelena through the zone. Shoots. This was an excellent save. And keep in mind, the shooters know that if they can notch another one, their team goes up by two. Holmstrom skating with the puck in the neutral zone. They stop the shot. 
This is a huge shot block. When you're up by one, the goalie never even had to think about making a stop. Jelena over to Simon. Joseph saves it with the stick and that butterfly. With the puck and the slot. He scores! And they go ahead here. Two goals in the first period. This was a textbook rebound goal, Bob. Let's have another look at it on the replay. He was in just the right position to get that puck and shoot it right back again. Upper left corner. Not much the goalie could do on that play. Just about ready to resume play here. He's got it over the blue line. Now the Flames. Wick, he scores! And they go ahead here. Three goals in the first period. You heard it right, folks. Leading by three goals. Fantastic offense. A hard slap shot to the right side for a goal. You could tell, Harry, that the goaltender had no chance at defending against that one. He was frozen solid. You're right, Bob. That's as wicked a shot as you'll see in the National Hockey League. The skater's ready now for the official to drop the puck. The Flames are really moving offensively here tonight. What a powerhouse early. They've got a three-goal lead here in the first. Very impressive. The Red Wings pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Now Detroit into the zone. Now Calgary's got it. Kovacu controlling it at center ice. Calgary regains possession. From Kovacu over to Nielsen. And Detroit gets it back in their own zone. Lidstrom plays it up to the center. Over to Whitney from Lang. Coley, he had this one labeled. It looked to me like it was on the left post down low. He just got robbed on that shot. He scores! And they go ahead here. Four goals in the first period. This is just domination we're seeing here now. This is some offensive prowess being displayed on this goal, Bob. Let's check the replay. No doubt about that, Harry. Great offensive player against a tough defender. And I think the D did a pretty good job. I agree he did, but it wasn't good enough. And at this high level of competition in the NHL, slight advantages often turn into goals. We'll get back to the action now as the official gets set to drop the puck. The Flames are looking more like they are practicing against the Junior League team. This is a clinic here in the first period. That's a four-goal lead, and we haven't even completed one segment of regulation. He controls the puck along the board. There it is, Calgary on the move. Oh, and Legacy stops it. He was aiming bottom left, but no room. Woolley with it at center. Shot. Calgary picks it back up. Sent to the left wing. He's got the puck in the neutral zone. And here's the three-on-two rush. Aginla along the boards. The puck comes out of the court. He scores. And they continue to add to the lead. Tonight, a five-goal lead now. The fans enjoying this offensive performance. That shot looks like it came from behind the plane of the goal line. I can't believe it, Bob. What an amazing shot. Only the best shooters can pull off a play like that, Harry. What an eye, and what a feel for pinpointing a target. And we've got the face-off. Skaters in position. Off is won by Detroit. And he uses pad on that play to compensate for going the wrong way. Ryan Brecht. He brings the puck past the blue line. Hatcher drops to his knees to block the shot. Along the boards with the puck. Eiserman gains possession in the defensive zone. The puck gets sent to the center. He centers the puck. He's got it through the zone. The Flames grab the loose puck in the defensive zone. From Jelena to Reinprecht, passes it to the right wing. Iserman gets control of the puck in his own zone. Clock down to a minute 49. 
The corner, out of the corner. Controlled at center ice. Oh, and a chance for Calgary now. To Simon. From Landrecht. It's passed to the point. Shanahan from Fisher. Shanahan sends the puck up center ice. The puck to the left wing. And that signals the end of the first period with the score 5 to nothing. Now we've got some highlights of that first period rolling now. The Flames have been really playing exceptional hockey here tonight, Harry. They came out with the early deed in the first period and arriving with confidence in total control. What are the keys to their success, Harry? They're up big, and I'd say that can simply be attributed to the fact they've had more chances. The more shots you put on goal, the more likely you are to have some of them go in. It's as simple as that. have a hopeful look on their faces right now, but they need to get some confidence. After a horrible first period, they have to regroup, and I'm sure that's what the coach talked to them about in the locker room. We start period number two with a face-off at center ice. Win the face off with possession in the neutral zone. It's, he scores! It went in after digging off the crossbar. Oh my, what a goal! He thought he was robbed at first, but it went in anyway. And that teaches you persistence pays off. Well, persistence on the part of the puck at least. Hard to explain the physics on that one, so just watch. I would, Bob, only if I didn't get paid to talk. Well, you know, I can't argue with that one. And we're ready for the face-off. The Red Wings trying to get some respect back with that goal. But they're not looking so good. He scores off the post and in. He aimed just about as far left as he could and just managed to knock it off the post and into the goal. Great play. Talk about some boomerang action here, Bob. The last goal was a one-timer that went off the left post. The goalie had no hope. Legacy, he really nailed that one-timer, Harry. The goalie, whatever chance he did have of stopping that one, ended as soon as the shot hit the iron. Yep, just hit the pipe right to get it to ricochet in. That was a great shot. And don't forget the setup, man, Harry. The skaters look ready in that big circle. And here come the Red Wings. The Red Wings controlling the puck in the neutral zone. The centering pass is made. Kiplesov with a pad save. Holmstrom getting held up along the boards. Regeer takes it up through the zone. It goes over to the right wing. They score! And it's now a six-goal lead here in front of a very pleased home crowd. I don't think anybody expected a blowout point like this. The goalie tried to get this one, but the shot deflected off the goalie's left pad and right into the net. The goalie just wasn't set where he wanted to be on that shot. The puck takes a detour off the leg and into the net. Bob, if you listen carefully, you can hear the coach groaning from the way up here. And we're going to start up action again. the blue line. The Red Wings have possession of the loose puck in the defensive zone. Over to Whitney. And Calgary gets it back in their own zone. Has it at center ice. Kiposov stops it. He was ready with a stick. Over to the right wing. Lang in the slot. 
Regeer skating with it now in his own. He passes it up the right side. Sent to the left wing. Aginla has it along the boards. Legacy stops it. He blocked out the left side there. Lidstrom passes the puck to the center. The Flames grab the loose puck at center ice. And here come the Red Wings. The Wings give their defenseman a breather. New shift coming on. Donovan has it at center ice. Shot. Legacy stops that shot. Headed bottom right. It's fired back yet again. That shot was stopped by the pad. Lenkow with the puck. Legacy passes to the defenseman. Whitney skating with it at center. Oh, and here come the Red Wings. Kiprasov stops the slap shot with a pad. Here's the odd man, three on two. Cody, this guy is looking for number two, and he wants it bad. This is shot number five on goal, and he's already scored one. Whitney over to McCarty. The shot is redirected, but he still makes the save. The puck goes to the defenseman in the neutral zone. Aginla skating with. They've got a three-on-two chance here. Aginla took a stick to the midsection. Oh, I don't know if the ref saw that one. He has it along the board. The point. Passes over to the left wing. And he takes it through the zone. The wings give their defenseman a break and switch the lines. From Warner over to Lidman. Passes it to the right wing. Oh, and here come the Flames. Shooting. It, he scores. He's got three tonight, folks. And the fans here at home are letting him know that they are keeping track of those goals tonight. And next week, you'll be able to buy these hats at half price at the local sports store. Great tradition in the National Hockey League. And that's exactly what happens. Trick of the hats on the ice. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the bucket. The Red Wings with the puck in the neutral zone. Over the blue line, to the point. Shanahan in the corner. Holds the puck at center. It goes over to the right wing. Simons sets a three on two. Over to Iserman from Woolley. And here's a chance for the Red Wings. He scores! Top-notch playmaker to make that play happen. Oh, just look at that beautiful feed, Harry. He's showing us why he's number one in assists for his team. And he chalks up another goal for his team with his help on that play. Nice job. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. The face-off, won by the Wings. Scored by number 14. He shoots. Kiprasov saves that one on the right side. And another chance. Gunning for the hat trick in the second period. We would not have seen many hats thrown onto the ice because they're playing away from home. But that wouldn't have made it any less sweet. The puck deflected off the post. Jonah doesn't get his shot on goal. It's controlled. Leopold brings it up through the zone. And now Detroit, center ice. And now the Wings get it back. And he scores! Let's take a look at the goal. The defender is taking up some of the angle on the shot. But he's also blocked his goalie's view from getting a look at the puck. It didn't look like the defender blocked his vision too much. It wasn't a lot, Bob, but any little advantage you can get from an obstructed shot can make the difference between a goal and an easy save. Remember, this is a game of inches. And we've got the faceoff coming up.
Mowers gets the loose puck between the two blue lines. Good block there. You talk about dedication. These guys are ahead by a mitful, and he's still blocking shots. He shoots. A legacy with perfect protection of the net, and that's what the butterfly guys do. They really play the net more than the shot, and this time he was able to get his body in front of the shot. Only a minute 42 left. Ference knocks the puck to the center. Now Calgary into the zone. One minute remaining in the period. The Wings have possession of the puck. The Datsuk. He's covered and fires it hard around the boards. It's deflected off the post. Mouthby missed that opportunity, but not by much. The puck just bounced off the left goal post. And that's the end of the second period. We've got a score of 9-2. And we've got the highlights from period number two running. Nice to see some of the better plays made tonight. The Flames are continuing their great play tonight, Harry. It's been a pretty one-sided match. They've got the big lead here, continuing to control the game as we start the third period. Where have they excelled, do you think, in your mind? You try to analyze the comparisons here stat-wise. You don't see much. This is an even game on all accounts, and I really feel it's a good matchup. This is the kind of game where you need to identify a few opportunities and to take advantage and make the most of each one. Because in a game like tonight's, that's what's going to make the difference. The Flames are looking pleased as they take to the ice here in period three. And they should be. It's always easier to play ahead than from behind. The players meet at center ice to begin the third period. The Red Wings with the puck at center ice. Bob, we've seen this guy do it before, flashing the left pad. You launch a slap shot like that, and you think, I got to get something. All he got was the left pad. And Legacy passes to the defenseman. Holmstrom now controlling the puck. It's fed back to the point. The shot. Legacy with a gorgeous stick save. He was crouching down and got the wood right on the puck. Lenkow fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. Calgary back into the zone. And Detroit has the puck. Defensive zone. Lidstrom with the pass up the center. Oh, and there they go. The wings on the move. Gets over to the left wing. A booming hit. What a crunching blow. He brings the puck past the blue line. Two men back and the goalie. Lenkow passes out of the corner. Legacy covers it up. He just doesn't want to take any chances. Aginla with a plus minus of plus five. That ought to bring up the rating. Legacy positions himself on the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. And here's Calgary off the draw to the left wing. Whitney with the puck at center ice. Back to the point. Whitney with the puck along the boards. Boy, this is a perfect textbook hit. Finish your man, have your feet about shoulder width apart, and then run him over. To the middle. And along the boards. Using the lumber on this play, he got all of that slap shot. It was a good stick save by the goaltender. Hatcher is able to pick it up and clear it out. And Calgary has the puck defensive zone. From Warner to Jelena, and they have it at center ice. It's shot. Legacy blocks a powerful slap shot. A penalty coming up. Fisher has no problem getting the officials to call the cross-checking penalty. I don't like to see those either. That was a pretty solid cross-check, Bob. Let's take another look at it. Wow, he just nailed him, Harry. He really let him have it on that one. That's right, Bob, and a play like that's going to give him two minutes in the penalty box to watch the game. 
Fisher will be spending some time in the penalty box. This is his first penalty of the night, and he's the number three guy for penalty minutes on his team. Here we go, the face-off to the right of the goalkeeper. The Wings win the shorthanded face-off, looking to kill the penalty. And the Red Wings get it out of their zone on the PK. The puck is directed out center. Calgary on the power play. And they get it out there, trying to get a chance here. Oh, and Legacy stops the shot, and the power play is still on. Lidstrom clears it out of the zone on the penalty kill. Regeer has it. Center ice. Sacrifices himself for the hard shot. And Detroit gets to it and clears it out of the zone. Power play, Calgary to the point. And the Red Wings regain possession. Taken into the zone by Detroit. It's shot. Kiprasov hits the puck out center through the zone. He feeds the puck to the left wing. Oh, and a chance for Calgary now. And again, it's shot. A legacy had terrific position and awareness on this stick save. He had it down on the ice, and boy, did he put it to use. A beautiful stop. Penalty over. Five men on the ice for both teams. Maltby controlling it. The puck now to the right wing. And he holds it at center ice. To Aguila from Donovan. To the middle. Mowers brings the puck up, and the defense has to get back there. Lednan sends the puck up center ice. Past the blue line. Gotsuk skating with the puck in the neutral zone. That shot off the left pad. He passes to the defenseman. The Flames wanted to make a line change with their forwards. They get a chance to do it now. From Hatcher. And the goal! Boy, this one doesn't require much analysis. Take a look at the replay. Slap shot, five hole, goal. Baseballs have mustard when they're fastballs. That's got mustard on it, and it was a puck. A bunch of ketchup, too. They're in position to start up the action. And Calgary wins the faceoff. Over to Ference. Now Detroit's got it. Of the season. Assisted by he feeds it up the left side. They've got a three-on-two chance here. And Kiprasov makes the pass to the defenseman. And now Calgary with it across the blue line. They block the shot. Good defense. This guy is a real determined player. Losing by a boatload, and he's still blocking shots. Knocks that shot away with a goal stick. Two minutes left in the period. Ference passes it up the center. Jelena takes it past the blue line. We're down under two minutes. Dandino freezes him against the glass. McCarty holding the puck at center ice. Ripped. Kiprasov stops it going low left side. Nothing doing there. He passes it to the right wing. He carries it over the blue line. He, he scores! That's number two for him tonight. He's got the shooting touch, folks. One more, and it's the hat trick. Slap shot, five hole, bang, goal. What a display of precision with a powerful slap shot right at the five hole and in. To make a shot like that, Bob, you have to be in the zone. And this guy, man, he's in the zone. Here comes the face-off to start the action again. Like 
Six seconds left. And now Detroit with it across the blue line. And that's the end of the game. And the score, 10 to 3. The third star of the game. Number 12, Jerome Eginla. The second star of the game, number 26, Marcus Nilsson. And the first star of the game, number 19, Damon Lango. Now we are going to run the highlight reel for tonight's game. A little montage of the moments that made up the game. The Flames played their hearts out here tonight. I think the last three or four goals they got were just for practice. They certainly didn't need them to win, but all joking aside, this team has shown they are a force to be reckoned with in the NHL. It's hard to pinpoint any one thing these guys did to make it all come together, but if you had to, Harry, what aspect of their game stands out? Well, Bob, sometimes you can back your team into a corner if you're constantly taking penalties. This team didn't do that tonight. They were reasonably disciplined, and as a result, the offense was able to do what it does best. And as a result, a huge win for them tonight. And that's going to do it. National Hockey League action on the 2K Sports Network. For Harry Neal, I'm Bob Cole. On behalf of all of our crew, we thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good one.